Hi friends, welcome back to Angular Code Application Series with the JSON server as a backend. Okay, so this is the fifth video. So we have created JSON server for this application. So last few days we are discussing about this thing. So we have installed the bootstrap and we have created this menu. And last day we have discussed about the list student page. Okay, so basically this is coming from the API. So we can see we are already running the ng server the Angular application and also the json server application so if we just go to this db json we can see there is three records okay so these three records actually showing in the listing okay so we have created this api link and we are using in the list so in this video we will going to create an add page so here we'll just create a reactive forms and using this reactive forms we will add data and we'll save into this db json file right so let's see so how we can do this so if you just go to the visual studio code you can see this is my project right so here inside the app module.ts so if you just go inside the app there is the app module.ts file so this is the main typescript file of my angular application so here we will just simply first use the reactive forms and we use that reactive forms from the specific component okay so this is the add listing component add student component right so we'll do this later right so first we'll use the reactive component so just import this import reactive forms and it will come from at the rate angular slash forms right and what will be the name the name will be the reactive forms module right we need to import this reactive from modules from this import array right so app module ts section is ready now we need to create a from here right so if we just go inside the specific component file that is the app component that is the add student component ts and add student component.html okay so whatever we will write in the here basically we will see inside this so right so just here right add student right so if you just go to the browser we can see the add student now we need to add a simple bootstrap from so just go get bootstrap.com get started and just search forms so you can search any forms so suppose i want to use this form right so just paste this here and i'm just going to remove some things so let's see how it's appearing so if you just go here you can see a form is coming so it's nice now i need to add the name and email right simple two fields so just removing which are not needed so just remove this and we don't need this section and i don't need actually id here and area desired by we don't need these things also and if we want to remove we can remove these things also as we have removed the id so basically this is the email right and here i can use the placeholder so placeholder is enter email right so just copy this another times so right here the name and you can say the type equal to text right and enter name and submit okay so let's see so you can see the name and email this is coming from bootstrap right so looks good now just go to the typescript file and here we need to use the from group and from control so write import and here it will be right in this way at the rate angular forms okay and we'll need two modules that is from group modules and the from control modules 
right so we have included these two modules now we need to create the from group here right so first we will declare the from group and then we will use inside this add student component dot html right so just create a from groups so suppose add student is my from group name okay and declare new from group right and what will be the from group inside here so just align this and here write name colon new from control from sorry from control right and initially it will be the blank and add the next things that is email right and write in same way new from control okay so initially i am adding as blank now we will bind this from group inside the astrian component.html so simply here yeah, just go to the astrian component.html and bind from group right and what will be the name of this so i have just created that is the add student right so just use here and here we can see the from control name that is name and email so just use this here so write the from control name so what will be the from control name so the name is for name field we will add the name and for email we will add the email right so this is the email okay so all are done now when you click on this submit button we need to call a function so just write here the ng submit okay so in this way we can call any function so just write ng submit and suppose my function name is save data right and we will create this function inside the typescript file so just create a function so here just write save data right and here we'll get the value so write console dot log and we'll get this dot our add student dot value so i want to print all the value which are coming from component.html that means from the from right so just go to the browser sorry this error so check the console so there may have object issue okay so just go to the component and here inside this from group we to create a object type so just write in this way so i think this will be good now just go to the browser so we can see the from is appear now open the console so just clear this and type name suppose john and the email is john at the rate email.com right so if we just click on this now so we can see we are getting this value from this console right so we can understand can get the value from the from to the save data function inside the typescript file right so just little zoom out so that we can see the navigation menu control minus okay so we can see the menu right now i need to save this data to the db.json okay so right now we have only three records and we have already created api so you can see already the json server is running so if we just go here copy link and paste it here this is the current record actually we are getting and if we just go to the home page we can see there is a get post put pair so all will be the same url but the thing is the method type will be the different so if we just go to the postman and just click one another 
so just go inside this so create one and paste here one and this will be the post type so if we just simply submit these things suppose this right and go here and just go to the body section and then raw and the json will pass with the json format so suppose here i want to set the name that is student suppose there are only three records so i'm writing the student four and the email is student four and I click on send then it will save to a then it will save to the server right so just go here we can see the four record is appear right so in this way we'll add record through the angular add from page right so using this from right so now we need to call the service so just go inside the visual studio code and here we will call the service okay so let's import the service into the app component ts first so right here import and here we will be import the service name and it's the dot slash the service that is student service right and here we'll just add the student service okay so now we need to call this student service from the constructor so right here private and create student and the students service right so student service included into the add student component of ts now let's go inside the service that is the student service dot ts okay so now here we'll create a function so the function name is suppose save student data and from this save student data we'll basically call the api and we'll save the data right so we'll get the value from here and we'll pass this to the save data function from the add student component dot ts and then it will go this data to the student service dot ts okay so this is the flow right so now inside the save data we'll get the value that is data and here we'll just print the console so right here console dot log and the data right so from where the data will appear the data will appear from the add student component dot ts okay so let's pass this so as we are created the student service here so just write this dot student dot the function name that is the save student data right and we will pass this value so this add student dot value right so we are passing this value so now if we just remove this console from the app student component ts and i want to print this record from the student service dot ts right so here parameter data type should be any so just right here any okay so this so it will accept all type of value so now just go to the browser and remove this and print name that is john and the email is john at the rate email dot com right so if you now just submit this we are getting value from the service dot ts okay so actually this value are coming from the template then from template to add student component dot ts from add student component dot ts to the student service dot ts okay so let's call the api and save the data so we tested our api so this is the api url that is the same link as previous but instead of get we will need to do here the post so just write return this sorry this dot http we already included http client so use this http dot here the method will be the post right and here we'll pass this url and along with this we'll pass this data so first 
write this dot the URL and the data right so we are passing these two things right now just go to the abstract component dot ts and here I want to console which are actually saving into this db that is db dot json okay so we need to use the subscribe from the add strand component dot ts so just go here and write subscribe and inside the subscribe we'll use the result actually this result will be accessible from here and just console this result okay so console dot log and the result right now if we just go to the browser and to re-enter some different names suppose the name is david sorry the david and the email is david at the rate email.com and click on submit right so we can see this is the output actually these are saving and it's generated the id equal to five so now if you just go here at the list so we can see the five records appearing and if we just go to the server we can see we need to reload this because we have changed these things so just reload okay so we can see the new record is inserted so do it again so just go again and add student suppose the name is james Park. right and here the email is james at the rate email dot com so click on submit so again it's submitted and the new id is six so just go here we can see the new id is generated that is james park so in this way we can save all the data and if we just go here inside the list we can see all the records right so in this way we can save the data to the server using the json server and angular 12 right so this is a simple example so you can do this right and if you have any queries about this video please comment in a below comment section and the next day i am going to discuss about how you can set alert after successfully inserted so here if we just submit this we are not getting any message or suppose you can say the success matches okay so next day we can do this so after submit we will get the success message so please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video thanks for watching this video have a good day